YouTube. So, it's me. I'm back with another video. Um, I'm going to be discovering or discussing, sorry, how to do alpha programming on your alpha keypad. Now, if you don't have an alpha keypad, this obviously is not going to apply to you. Now, we are in my laundry room, so you are going to hear some noise. Now, the only difference between this alpha keypad and a standard Honeywell or Demco alpha keypad is it says protection one on it. And it's, I mean, it looks a little bit more, I don't know, sleek, whatever. Um, now, a couple ways to get into programming. The easiest way to get into programming, if you know the installer code, um, if you do not know the installer code, you can try a power cycle, which means that you're going to disconnect the battery and you're going to disconnect the AC and then you're going to reconnect the AC and then within, I, I want to say 30 seconds, you're going to hit the star and pound. Now, if I do that now, my siren is going to go off. So I'm not going to do it. Um, and once you get into programming, you can change your installer code and I'm going to, I'm going to briefly touch on that just because it's going to be there right as we get into programming. So let me get into programming because I don't want you to see my installer code, but you can see I'm going to show you how to make it display as a little customizable. So hold on. Okay, you can see I'm in programming now. By default, this is where this is where it brings you. Okay, now if you do the star pound method, you're gonna get right here too, if the panel has not been locked out. Now I'm working on a Vista 320P1, which is essentially a Vista 20P, but it's got P1 defaults, protection one defaults. Okay, like the time zone, stuff like that. Um, so anyways, if you wanted to change the installer code, you're gonna hit star, Two, zero, and then you input whatever four digit code you want to be in the system. Now, let's go ahead. I'm gonna, like I said, this video here is just for alpha code programming or alpha zones, whatever alpha descriptors, and that's in 80 in field 82. You can do it when you do your zones in field 56. But it's just easier to go through here, and you can't do your uh, custom zone, custom words uh, through field 56. So we're gonna hit star 82. Now I do this a lot. I pretty much know uh, what numbers are associated to what words or letters off the top of my head, um, and if I if I get it wrong, um, I know what. To um, I know that I have to go forward or backwards in the numbers, and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. Um, so, program alpha. Well, I don't want to hit star because I've got a zero there, so I'm going to hit one. Now it's going to say, do I want to do custom words? Well, yes, I do. So, you can see one yes. So, hit a one for yes. Now... I've already found out that all my all my all my custom words are all taken on this panel here. You only have ten custom words. Well, you've got thirteen, but I'm going to discuss eleven, twelve, and thirteen. So let's go to zero one, just as an example. Okay, so now I've already got a word in there, but let's say I want to change that word, and just for the sake of argument, I'm going to change that from power to door, and you'll you'll see the, 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 the process, okay? So, I know that a door is, or D is pound six, I believe seven, right? No, nope, six, that's a C, pound six, eight. See, like I said, you just, sometimes, if you don't know it right offhand, or you don't want to sit there and write, 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 write out the code with the book, you just do it this way. Now, so six, moves it forward now I've already got an, an O in there so I would do an O go forward again now let's just say oh wait I want to go back and do the dub the W I'm gonna hit the four four brings me back as you can see so now I'm gonna do pound 
I think it's seven nine. Okay, six to go forward. Pound eight two for an R. Now, well, I I, I don't want to do door. So six pound three two. Three two is your blank. Six pound four nine. Just for example. So at this point, you're happy with your you're happy with what you have. Okay? If you want to do any modifications, you can go back. Um, you can change the letters or whatever. But you're done at this point. So you hit the eight. I want to save it. So we just saved it. So now let's go back in and look at what we what we've got in there door now I'm gonna go ahead and change it back to power uh, before I forget so pound eight zero I think yep six six pound eight seven six pound six nine six pound eight two six pound three two and 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 you you, you kind of got a glimpse of how quickly I was doing this. That's why you do you never. Well, I, I guess you you could program with a, a touchscreen keypad, but they are just ungodly slow. Now, like I said, any P series panel, <coughs> excuse me, I believe 10P, 15P, 20P, they all have 10 custom words. Uh, you get into a, like a 128 or a 250 or a 32. I believe those have 50 custom words, and they are slow to program, very very slow. So now, but I'm done, right? I I, I put it back to power, okay. So now I'm gonna go eight. So now, remember how in the beginning it said rank home? That's my last name, rank, and then I spelled out home, okay. And that's really hard to find in the book. That's custom word 11. Now, this one, you could start typing it right here. Okay. But then when you get done, you'll be over here and it won't be centered. So this is, I mean, you don't play with it too much. But if you know it's going to end over here, I forget how many characters it, it has. But if you know that it, and, and if you have to, you, you retype it and you, you type in pound 32. But, so you hit the six, 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 and then that, that's obviously where I started typing. Now, had I started right here, I could have just done pound 32 for these first three spaces and then started redoing it all over again. Okay, so that's that's something you can do. Now, so custom word 11 is, is partition one. Custom word 12 is partition two. Um, and I'm not gonna go into it, but custom word 13 is partition three. So th those are your custom words. So I'm done with custom words, and you can see I hit zero, zero, and I'm done. Do I want to program the alpha? Yes, because now I want to do the zones. So no, I do not want to do custom words. You can see zero for no, okay, zero. And it starts off right with, with zone zero one. Now if I wanted to program zone zero one, all I have to do is hit star zero one, and then it's gonna move my cursor over here and I can do three words. Now. I'm not doing zone one. Well, actually, I guess I could. Let's just do this. Um, even though this door here, wireless, it's on, it's on actually zone 10, but watch. So pound 089, I, I know that's the garage, six pound. Now this is something that a lot of people don't do. I think it's just lazy. 068, because it's an entry door, right? Six pound O five seven. Okay, so there you can see garage entry door. I'm I'm happy with that eight. Now I happen to have, like I said, look at that zone ten is the garage entry door. Now if I wanted to type in, well, let's just do it. 
It's already got something. Now, I want to type something fresh in there, so I have to hit that zone number 10 again. So now, pound 089. And you can see what it did is it, it deleted out when I hit that, that number again. It deleted out what was in there. So, six pound oh six eight six pound oh five seven eight so let's go back not like it, it's going to matter but i'm going to do star zero one that's going to tell me what i've got star zero one to delete it out boom now when you do these words you do word then you hit six you do pound word six pound word six pound word okay if you're only doing two two words though let's let, i'm going to show you pound oh eight nine six pound oh five seven now at this point if i hit the six it's going to bring me up to program that third word well i don't want to do a third word i'm done so at this point you just hit the eight Okay, and you can see my flashing cursor went away. I can go on to the next one. Star one zero. Okay, which again is garage entry door. So let's go back to star zero one, star zero one. And that blanks it out. Now, I'm happy with that. So I hit the eight, because I'm done. Now, I'm done programming the alpha. Star zero zero. And you can see now it says programming alpha zero equals no one equals yes so i'm going to hit it's already got the zero on it so i'm going to hit star and you can see right there star or pound now that's all i'm covering right now if i have more comments i will absolutely go into further detail uh 4204 programming uh trigger 17 uh so on and so forth um, or you can shoot me some comments about what is a 4204, what is a 4219, what is a 5834, whatever. I'll answer all your questions. So, but now I'm done. Star 99. And I don't even wait. Two. I don't even wait. As soon as I hit star 99, I hit code chime. And you can see, now it says chime door just beeped you saw you see what it says right there okay now for the chime it says chime on chime off code plus chime now the only difference between this I don't know what kind of sticker you have on, on your door if you have a sticker the only difference between this and the Honeywell one is it says that information right there which that number actually doesn't even exist anymore but right there so that's that like I said I saw, I saw a video on how to do alpha programming and I was not impressed so anyways if if this helped you out give me a like if you want to see more alarm videos I'm I'm primarily a Honeywell guy the other uh, panel that I do is uh, the 2 gig panel I don't even ask me about DSC or GE or Bosch uh, as far as I'm concerned, the Bosch needs, especially the older ones, 2112, those need to just go away, as far as I'm concerned. So, anyways, that's what I have. Um, if it helped you, give me a, give me a thumbs up. Um, so, uh, I guess maybe I'll make another alarm video, alright? See you soon, bye.